Well, I would like to share with you um, uh, a method to uh, integral a rational function with the form like this. I mean, numerator degree and numerator are higher than the denominator and the denominator is a linear uh, expression. So this method is called uh, borrow and pay back. Okay, so I'm gonna have over here would be equal to, so you notice in the bottom it have here, so copy it from, and should be plus five, right? Okay, right here. Um, you notice in the bottom it have x plus five and on top x squared, right? So in algebra, we have some, uh, the difference between two square and it have pi in it. So that would be, I'm gonna do like this. On top, that would be x squared and then minus 25, right? And then in the bottom, I will have, if one would be divine the bottom, that would be x plus five and then dx. So I have a little trick right here. I click it on, boom, it go back to the normal way that you see right here. The reason I do, oh, but I don't have the 25 right here, huh? So that means I borrow it somewhere. So that's why minus right here. So I have to pay back right here. So that means I have to plus 25. You see that? So now on top right here, I simplified it, go back to x squared. So that's why I borrow and pay back. The reason I do this, because I'm gonna split in two integrals here. So that would be equal to, the first one would be, I'm gonna do uh, x squared and then minus 25, and then I divide it by x plus five, right? And then, dx. And then second, my second integral would be 25 right here only. So plus integral of 25, and then I divide it by x plus 5 right here, dx. Yeah. So that would be my thing right here. Like that. Now notice that when I write this way, then this x squared minus 25, I can factor it out in two, huh? So it's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be equal to integral of, on the top, I will have that here would be x minus five, and then time x plus five, and then that whole thing, I gonna divide it by x plus five, yeah, dx. And then the second one that you can see this here, we can take integral right away, but I'm just gonna write it here. We're gonna do all together in once, okay? So gonna have the here will be int of 25 divided by x plus five dx. So right here, it look like, like this, yeah? Like that. Okay, so now you can see right here, this x plus y here can cancel with x plus y right here, huh? So therefore I could have the x minus y left here, yeah? So I will have this one would be equal to integral of x minus y dx. And then over here would be this one, the same thing. So I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna integral of 25 divided by x plus five dx. Okay. One more time. So it have to come out nicely. Now we can take integral, right? Because the first one is nothing more than get x square, x square over two, right? And then minus five x, yeah, and this one is, I take the 25 out, so it's gonna be one over x plus five, so that would be a natural log, huh? So I have here plus 25, div, um, and then natural log, so make sure that you have the absolute value, because you don't know if that value is, uh, x minus five could be negative, right? So therefore you put the absolute value there, and then plus c. That would be your answer right there. 
So let me show you a normal way that to look over here and you see that's way there. So that would be your answer right there. Okay. So with the methods right here, you don't need to do long division. You don't need to do partial decomposition, none of that. It's just easy to do right here. So just borrow and pay back, right? So I'm gonna type the answer in here, then you will see uh, the answer is correct. So I have to here would be x squared and then uh, divided by two and then minus 5x plus 25 natural log of x plus 5, and then plus c. That would be my answer in there. Okay. So I submit, I should have correct answer.